from hot sauce to pop gloss, United States products speak into Iran. Hey Iran, Iran at a trendy restaurant in Iran's capital, customers with Coca Cola blue bending straws as waiters bring caddies to their tables full of Heinz ketchup and two types of Tabasco sauce. Welcome to Dining in the Islamic Republic, brought to you by America. Whether at upscale restaurants or corner stores, American brands like Coca-Cola and Pepsi can be seen throughout Iran despite the heightened tensions between the two countries. United States sanctions have taken a heavy toll on oil and other major industries in the country of 80 million people, but Western food, movies, music and clothing are still widely available. And 40 years after the Islamic Revolution and the takeover of the United States Embassy, despite billboards and rallies declaring death to America, Iranians particularly the young and great United States products. The American lifestyle is very attractive, said Ahmad Rizai, a 21-year-old student at Tehran University who drained two bottles of Coke while out with a friend. Coca-Cola portrays that lifestyle for us. Tensions have soared following the Trump administration's decision last year to withdraw from Iran's 2015 nuclear agreement with world powers and restore sanctions. In recent weeks, Iran has begun openly breaching limits set by the accord, saying it cannot abide by the deal unless other signatories provide economic relief. Despite that, drinking a soda or a Pepsi after eating ketchup in Iran comes as second nature. Though the soft drinks don't taste quite as fruity or sweet as their American counterparts. Those brands are bottled by local firms, Co. Supper Mash and Co. For Coca-Cola and Station Co. And Nathan Sharp Co. For Pepsi, which are affiliated with the Ayman Marissa Foundation, an economic conglomerate, tied to the country's Shiite theocracy. Coca-Cola held a 28% market share in Iran, according to a 2016 report by research firm Euromonitor International, while Pepsi had around 20%. Asked about Coca-Cola sales in Iran, the Atlanta-based company said it had sold concentrate to Iran for over 20 years in line with U.S. sanctions policies. The authorizations are very restrictive in nature, Coca-Cola said. The the company does not have any ownership interest in the Iran bottler and does not have any tangible assets in Iran. Pepsi did not respond to requests for comment. This for Space Craft Times Co. said that like many Western companies, a few of our products are made available by your local Iranian distributors. Consilini Co. of Avery Island, Louisiana, the maker of Tabasco, said it expressly prohibits its distributors from reselling Tabasco brand products in Iran. Unfortunately, as is the case with all manufacturers, Nisilani Co. has only a limited ability to stop illegal third-party distribution networks from secretly diverting our products to Iran and often must rely on U.S. agencies and law enforcement to identify front companies and individuals engaged in sanctions evasion. Theo Harold Osborne told the Associated Press in a statement. At BK near Tehran University, diners drank Coca Cola and lathered their food with American condiments as videos played on a giant screen of travel destinations from around the world. We saw the end of friends, seeing the match at Ada, a 21 Tyson year old fellow student, each drank Coke, saying they enjoyed the taste. They also would like to see more iPhones. McDonald's restaurants and other trappings of Americana. We love Americans, Nadia Data said. That goes for American films as well. We saw he acknowledged having to find a pirated copy of Avengers, and game online as it never played in Iran. Others without a strong internet connection can find recently released films like John Wick, Chapter 3 Parabellum for under 40 cents a piece on Tehran City Endless Street, where hawkers also sell portraits of a young Al Pacino. Western, pop and rock music seeps out of the occasional passing car. Iranian state television channels even air older American movies just in Farsi. The 2000 Dennis Quaid film Frequency was on one recent night. At the city's Grand Bazaar, the capital's beating heart, a beach towel showing Mickey Mouse with a surfboard in SoCal Southern California hung on one rafter. Stacks of blue jeans were also on offer, but American brands like Levi Strauss have largely disappeared in recent months as Iran's currency has plummeted.
best in a booth of the car crew. A local team manufacturer that produces some 3 million square meters of cheese a month from locally sourced and foreign material. Sales associates at their shop in the bazaar acknowledged the product's roots in American cowboy culture but said cheese remain popular on the streets of Tehran. At Tehran's massive Iran Mall, a store called Thompson sells what appears to be the economist group on Tom's suit. The firm did not respond to requests for comments. Of all the American imports, the most unlikely might be the Tehran Research Reactor, a nuclear gift from America that arrived in 1967 as part of the Seven for Peace program, and which still runs today. Last week, thank you for watching. Please subscribe.